this unforgettable moment is the moment when I left my village. So what happened? The soldiers come in while I was turning the cow and start firing the gun, shooting randomly, <coughs> killing people, destroying the properties, and do all the damages that they could. Lack of water was the big deal, and it was in the desert. And walking, especially during the daytime, was too dangerous. And many of my friends who could not make it that time we were left behind. And we thought we might come back and get them, but there was no way to come back and get them. Anyone who was left behind was left behind forever. And it's the way we have to feed ourselves <coughs> is to grab what is available. That includes the leaves, the roots, and the wild fruits. So in the turn out, some of those were poisoned. So I almost got myself into trouble when I ate one of the poison ones that I didn't trust and almost cost my life. I was six years old and there was one nine years old boy who was there for me all the time. We ended up in that refugee camp with 35,000. And the situation in the refugee camp was so difficult because we have no enough food. And that area had a lot of airborne disease that broke out. And as I mentioned earlier, the nine-year-old boy who had me, who had me all that time, when we arrived there, he had the measles and he, never, he, he didn't make it. The soldiers come in, then they start shooting. We have to go across the river. So we were forced to cross that river to go to the other side. So when I, what I did was to try my best. I was not good at swimming. So I tried my best until I get to the other side. But many of my friends who could not swim were drawn just like that. Some were taken by a current of water that was so strong and ended up being taken by a crocodile. So, and some of them who did not try to get into the water were left to the other side of the river and ended up being shot or captured alive by the enemy. When we arrived there, when our number was count again, then we end up with 16,000. 19,000 were missing because of the gunshots, because of the crocodile, because of the lion, because of hunger. So in 2001, that's when I made it to US. I was so excited when I received the letter that you are going to US. I was able to to make it later on, and I was resettled in Nashville, Tennessee. So, so coming to modern world was a big challenge in so many ways. So when I come to US and I have all the material that I need, then I was able to, to do hard work on rocks. And I got some years, might be able to see them later on. That was the time when I became US citizen. That was the first time when I feel the sense of having identity. There are people that really need help. This young generation, they really need help. One child out of five children in South Sudan could not live to age five. And our plan was to build a building that would help mothers and the children. Mission to bring a, a, a clinic there that would help mothers and the children. We have this uh, blueprint for the building that have to take care of the mothers and children. That was the beginning of construction. And you could see from this lady face that there's a feeling that something is coming this building. We have that building being complete there, and you could see the children uh, looking through the window. That's the best modern building in the area.